Southeast, especially during the summer. So, uh, really, some really good matchups here in Tennessee. That 14 was, years old and that good a wrestler. How popular are you? Very popular. <laughs> And then yeah. you get your a win in the cage, add that to the accolade. No big deal. <laughs> All right, next up, you guys are going to enjoy this. If you haven't seen it before, BJJ Quartet, four on four, five-minute rounds, 800-pound limit. It's four from 10th Planet versus four from Team Zenith. Boy, this is going to be so much fun. Torres is going to break these rules down for us one more time and – this place is going to love this. All right, let's go to our guy, Jeff Hawks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now for you, your, you BJJ enthusiasts, people in here that like jujitsu, huh? Right now, we have got a four-on-four -four Brazilian jujitsu quartet match. Each team will have four members. We will start the match with two individuals in the cage. A pinfall wins. Winner stays in the cage. The next team will send in their next opponent. If there is a draw, both men are eliminated. The team with the last man standing wins. And now, out of the blue corner, let's welcome 10th Planet Decatur. So 10th planets burst out and this fight this was put together pretty late and really cool that you're going to see this quartet bjj and team zenith has different guys from around the national area while 10th planet has their guys from 10th planet joe cod travis thomas evan stapler matt elkins representing 10th planet as they all enter the cage. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Zenith guy. I'm under, I'm under Zenith myself. Yep. I'm excited for this, man. These right. are some high-level guys. Here's Jeff. To the red corner, let's welcome Team Zenith. So Team Zenith is composed of Joel Blanton, Hunter Gregory, Emilio Hernandez, and Jerry Baker. So tell us about some of those guys that you're familiar with, Ronnie. Honestly, uh, I've only trained with Alex. I don't know the other ones real too well, but Alex has taken over the jiu-jitsu world right now. <laughs> like, and I, I mean, I'm technically a brown belt under Zenith jiu-jitsu, so, you know, I got to rock with Zenith here. So he's, uh, Alex Hernandez competed in Hydra Cup and a very exciting fighter overall. And Team Zenith, three black belts and a blue belt. <laughs> Be pretty accomplished. We have the trophy Joe Kai, Travis Thomas and Stapler and Matt Elkins representing Team Zenith. Joe Blanton, Hunter Gregory, <laughs> Alex Emilio Hernandez, and Jerry Baker. Now, if I can have two captains to the center of the cage. Man, this is going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. Joe, Joe, Joe Kai right there, he's slick. He is so I roll slick. With, I roll with him quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> he's Nashville, so man. good. He's very good. So who do we have starting here? Emilio? So whoever wins the coin toss, um, whoever loses, basically, has to pick their first guy out. So whoever okay. wins the coin toss will make Travis that decision. Travis is going to start it out. Put out you guys can pick whoever. The rest of you, wait cage side in your corners. It'll be Jerry Baker starting. Big boys. So that means Travis Thomas will be facing off against Jerry Baker. Jerry Baker, um, I faced against here um, in Hydra Cup 2. Me and him came down to a draw. He's a brown belt, and he's a really good uh, uh, really good guy in jiu-jitsu, man. So this is going to be really fun to watch. So you got Travis Thomas on the right mm -hmm. and Jerry Baker on the left. Correct? Just pull guard. Yep. Baker with the longer hair. Thomas on top. Okay. Keeping that butterfly engaged. Thomas has been running rough shot over a lot of guys 
in the area. Terrific way to start for 10th Planet. Okay. Looks like he's trying to set up a Dars. Oh, yes. Nice long arms. And the great thing about this, they got five minutes. So both guys will be working really fast. Got the neck. Does Thomas. Going for a ninja choke or something? Von Flu? Oh, no, Von... he's just making a. Maybe he's stuck. One flew. We see, we see a great opportunity for it from, from Baker. I can't tell if he's looking for it. don't look like he's really okay. David Ferguson, our referee. Five-minute round. And again, the, the draw eliminating both fighters, that's to encourage guys to go for wins, right? Yes. Yes. And when you got a lot of high level guys like this, I mean, you know, if you if you're anybody to roll with a lot of these guys, it's hard to tap a high level guy in five minutes. Yeah, so it's, you got it's two tough. high level. It's tough. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna be fun to watch and see the different submission these guys go for to try to get the submission. And nobody wants to get tapped. So no, some people are gonna if they're losing, they're just gonna get through the round. Because <laughs> then you you feel like you if you lose, feel like maybe you let you let your teammates down. You yeah. have that. That peer pressure, right? For sure. Oh, that's that's interesting. Man, he needs to go to his knees right here. Thomas? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd wrestle up out of habit. Midway point, five minute round. Guys from 10th Planet, two of them competed in the last Hydra Cup that Valor Fighting Challenge puts together. Evan Stapler and the Phenom, he's in the cage right now. Travis Thomas is part of that Hydra Cup. Oh. You look like you're trying to set up a key team, huh? Been guard. These are two high level guys, man. I just, this is, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Minute 30 left. So there's, there's no, if there's not a lot of activity, they just, they stay in that position. It's not like, yeah, jujitsu is a little yeah. bit different. Yeah. yeah Cause you, you, you know, it, it's a little bit more lethargic. You got to do a lot of things. You work for a lot of different things. Right. It's um, like making beans. Yeah. You, yeah. you got to boil them and drain them over and over. It yeah. takes a while. But the thing about this is you only got five minutes. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. there's no strikes to set anything up. There's no, you know. You have to hit a move almost yeah. perfect in five minutes. Like That's what it comes about being having a great matchup. You know, winning that coin toss is crucial. Because you pick who you send out first. Yeah. And you probably don't want to send out a certain guy first. That's why, like, the strategic part of a quartet is built around who is your weakest guy just as strong as your strongest. You know, because some guys don't like, they like to put out their strongest guy first, mm -hmm. take out as many as possible. Yeah. Or you could run into the situation, they might put out their stronger guy first as well, and they both stall. And it come down to your guys that are just not as good. Well, if you win that coin toss and get to go second, you can set up the matchup you want. Yes. Kind of like a hockey line change. The whole team gets to bring their guys out after they see what the opponent's doing. So, it's the end of the five minutes. So, usually, if a submission would have happened, See, y'all see now in this situation, um, Team Zenith has to put a guy up first because they lost the competition. The coin toss. So both guys there are eliminated. Mm -hmm. Both guys right. are eliminated. Yeah. 
so the so the choice they made, uh, Tim Planet had to make. I'm sorry, uh, not Tim Planet, but uh, Zenith made was Conor Gregory, and the choice they made off that was Evan the Stapler. So it'll be Evan Stapler who competed in the Hydra Cup last time, uh, recently for Valor Body Challenge for Tenth Planet against Conor Gregory, the blue belt. So me, me and uh, Evan Stapler competed in a comeback jiu-jitsu. Yes, it only went like 10 seconds. Uh, I got disqualified for a legal slap. But, uh, you know, I, I watched a lot of film on Stapler. And Stapler uh, out of the PGF, um, he's really good. Also, if you see him out of Hydra Cup, he's got a nice leg game he likes to play. But he's really aggressive when he gets on top. So his goal for Evan, Evan Stapler's goal right now is to get on top. But right now, Hunter Gregory is a strong guy. He's mainly a wrestler, big time wrestler. And using the cage is a big thing. Really good by Gregory. Oh, you see a straight ankle action? Oh, okay. Okay, he's going for an up kick a little bit. <laughs> like, oops, my bad. So what are you seeing here from uh Stapler Taurus specifically? Um Stapler man, uh it looks like he you know, he's just trying to play the smart game. Oh, really good straight. But good job. Good job running playing the running man. Now he's getting on top. This is Evan Stapler's game. He likes to be on top. Gregory is still in a nice position, though. He's stapling the long sleeves. Gregory in the short sleeves. Stapler representing 10th Planet. Gregory representing Team Zenith. Both had their first fighters eliminated in this four on four BJJ quartet. Five minute rounds or two minutes gone by here in the second bout. So Stapler's going to be try real, be real heavy on Gregory. Look like he does outweigh Gregory by a little bit. Gregory is stout, but I think yeah. Stapler outweighs him a little bit. Stapler's got some thighs, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gregory headed up that Zenit Quartet that won a primal combat, made it to the finals of the combat BJJ tournament uh, there at that Hydra Cup as well. This guy's under the tutelage of Ray Casillas, Alex Corey, Robert Drysdale, and that group. A part of the Zenith umbrella. Still got a little stall out position for a minute. There's a lot of little things happening that you can't see. A lot of little grip exchanges. A lot of little, you know, making sure you focus on the bicep back of the head. Uh oh. Uh -oh. See, yeah. Uh, if anybody watched the PGF and they saw Evan Stapler, he was really, he was really. Uh, Really nasty in his jiu-jitsu, pitting the hand over the mouth, yeah. pushing against the head, being looks aggressive. Looks like he's being a little rough. Yeah, he gets, he, he, he does rough jiu-jitsu. He does jiu-jitsu, but it's, <laughs> it's aggressive. Jiu-jitsu shouldn't be comfortable. Head in the chin, look at that. Oh, man. Like, Stapler likes to make it uncomfortable for his opponents. And he has tapped out black belt, being a blue belt, by doing that. Just being really aggressive, being nasty, and keeping that pressure on his opponent once he gets on top. What do you think is the weight difference between those two? Because Stapler definitely looks like the bigger guy. Um, Stapler, I did talk to Stapler a little bit before the event. He told me he he coming in at 225. So if he's 225, I think Hunter Gregory looked like probably what one solid 170. Ma yeah, maybe give him 10 pounds, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so. And the the four guys combined can't exceed 800 pounds. So if you have somebody at 225, somebody else has got to be under that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> But that's part of the matchups as well. Yeah, that's part of the matchup game. Now we got Stapler here to mount. Look like he's working for some things. Could see a punch choke. Could yeah. see a. Okay, he's definitely keeping the back of the neck elevated so he can't really shrimp much. Notice how he has his arm on the back of the neck right there. He, he pretty much shuts down all his movement. Oh, we could be seeing a punch choke. Oh, that's one of Brandon McCaffrey's, one of his favorite. Uh, 
His thing is man, he is literally rubbing his face on his face. He, like he's like, I told you, he's really aggressive. He's really nasty when he does his jiu-jitsu. Nice hip, nice, nice foot on the hips too. Oh, oh, they're gonna oh, punch there it choke. Is, there it is. They're gonna punch choke. Oh, oh. man, that's a, that's what you do though. You try when you hear the clap. And that's it. All right, we Man. got some competition going on. Nobody can get anybody out. Nice look out. Draw. Now, let, now, you can't so make this match up any better. You no, you can't. With, now you got left. You got Joe Kai and Elkins versus right. Emilio and Joe Blanc left. And who comes in? Oh my goodness! Here we go, baby. Yeah, baby. Here That's we what I was go. hoping for. Yeah, these two have had a little back and forth. Some, yes. some, uh, some more Hydra Cup. Yep. And they didn't get a chance to face off in the Hydra Cup yep. because in a quartet. I've, I've watched them train together. It was entertaining. Oh, these two guys right here, man. Joe Kai shorts. Oh, sleeve. a flying triangle off the wow. back by Emilio. Hernandez with the long sleeve and with the sub attempts early. Oh, over. Oh, wow. My goodness. Oh, no. Hernandez gets the victory. Emilio's a beast, man. Ooh. Emilio Hernandez is a beast, man. Wow. How about that? A flying triangle. Oh, my gosh. To transition to the arm bar. First, take us through this. Start I mean, and finish. I man, mean, who would have thought? Look at him. Look at him. Making him think he's going to wrestle. Emilio loves to make you think he's going to ankle pick. He's going to wrestle you. Look at the look at the collar control here. He's forcing. He's got the wrist. Boom. He's going to jump. Look. Ooh. Oh my goodness. So quick. Like that. Could, you can't do that any better. Oh my goodness. You can't do that any better than that. <laughs> oh. Transition my. to the arm bar. Like like from the beginning, he was going after the arm. If you didn't notice. Oh my Man. goodness. So. Oh my goodness. And now we got another with two black belts. Matt Elkins. I, I believe Elkins is a black belt. I think he's a brown. I don't know. I could be wrong. But he, he's a high level. He's, he's good. Really good. He's really good. Him versus Emilio, man. This is going to be exciting to watch. Imagine if he does it again. Yeah. And Elkins is a pro fighter as well. Yes. A little two-on-one action. Yeah, Elkins is trying to be, trying to, trying to show me strong. Good. Oh, really good duck under. Really good duck under by it's, Elkins. It's, it's impossible to take Emilio's back. I'm just going to throw that out there. Man, that was close. Getting the hooks in with him, it's it's it feels impossible to me. <laughs> I mean, somehow accomplished oh, that. Oh, we might see it here. Oh, we got hooks in. Oh, look at that transition. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Scramble, he, he calls himself the Scramble King for a reason. They do call him the Scramble King. <laughs> <laughs> The Scramble King is showing off the day. A little smack of the hands to show respect. So another positive is Hernandez got his victory against Joe Kai so quickly, so he's not gassed having to compete again. Yes, I mean, this is basically a fresh matchup. Yeah. And uh, it, not many people tap out Joe Kai in the span of uh, 20 seconds. I mean, honestly, I don't think that happens. Uh, if they face 10 times, I don't think that happens again. That, yes. I, I not like that. Agree. I 100% agree with you. That was so nice. I can't get over it. Oh, oh, look at oh, he's setting up he an anaconda choke. I think he's got an anaconda. Oh, he got an anaconda. Yeah, oh, yeah. my goodness. Okay, man, man, it was really hard to choke. I'm, I'm going to throw that out there, too. I'll try choking him. He'll go to sleep before he taps. It's Elkins. Oh, he, he got, got it. it. Oh. As I say it. Oh. You know what I was about to say? I was about to say, uh, Emilio went to his knees, and I think that's a mistake. That's a mistake. He could have stayed on the side and put an elbow. The so after Hernandez gets a quick sub over Kai, Elkins comes right back <laughs> and gets the sub on Hernandez. Man. That leaves Joel Two Blank. things just happened that I did not think was going to happen. You, like, oh, my goodness. Hey, hey, we talk about a quartet coming down to the final man. You couldn't yep. have had a better, you couldn't have had a better BJJ for it. You really couldn't. Have. You couldn't have. No chance. How about that back to back? So it'll be Joel Blanton opposing Matt Elkins. Winner. Joel's like a gorilla. He's uh, he's definitely old school. He's going <laughs> to get on top and he's going to try to pressure. Uh-oh. Old school jiu-jitsu, man. I love yeah. it. <laughs> what a matchup. 
here we go. And Elkins had to go a little bit longer than Hernandez did coming back. So he, he had to work for that. So he got his minute break. Yep. One minute and that break. was an impressive anaconda. I'm talking about, you're talking about an, an impressive quartet. I mean, you can't get no better than this. Now we're down to the final men. It comes down to whoever gets the submission. And we'll see what the outlaws is if it comes to a draw. I do believe it goes by IBJJ uh, Elf rules. Uh, they'll play an overtime. Okay. But um, we'll see. We got five minutes to see that first anyway. See Glenn with that Tennessee Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy shirt. He's in the long sleeves and Elkins in the short sleeves from 10th Planet. Final two is BJJ Quartet 4 on 4. Five minute round. Well, Blanton just looks hard to be able to get down and yeah. sub with that, that frame. Blanton, I might have said Elkins. Blanton looks tough to yeah, he's, take he's, down. He, I didn't realize he was that big. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, that he likes that slide by, huh? He does love that slide Way to by. Use the bench. Straight to the double leg. Wow. All right, now we're in the guard of Blatant. This is the hard part, getting out of that guard. Okay, there it is. He's opening it. Nope. Way to work up. David Ferguson, referee throughout here in this BJJ quartet. All right. Oh, oh okay. To play the guard. Okay. I think we might see uh, Elkins attack his legs a little bit in this. I think he might. Oh! Okay, it looks like he's controlling the other leg. Yeah. Oh, good, good switch, good switch. Uh oh, switch over to the. Oh, oh. not bad defense. Is he gonna? He really likes those front chokes, huh? He tapped. He tapped. Oh. Yes, I thought oh, that's what that man. was. Tenth player at your victor, Matt Elkins, with two W's to close it out. Wow. It's 10th Planet over Team Zenith. Wow, Matt no, Elkins. That, that was nice. That was nice, man. Did you see, like, I didn't think he was going to. I didn't think he was going to tap him with that either. You have to look, sit here and look at the replay. Did he have a five finger or did he have his hands locked? I wasn't really. I couldn't really tell from that position. It was, is that a. That's a head and arm guillotine. Yeah, he did it standing up. Yeah. A standing guillotine with the head and arm. I mean. Yeah. He, he tapped on the leg there. There it is. Right up, I'm willing to bet he was right underneath yep. the right then, underneath the neck. Yeah, he was Wow. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that one either. Not not with the arm in. This is Big Time Tenth Planet Jiu Jitsu. Great job by Tenth Planet Jiu Jitsu. Both teams. Good, Man. good. That was good. That was some high level jiu jitsu. That was really fun to watch right there. Like you got these two. These two teams, man, and awesome. the great thing about it, you can match these two teams up again. All right, and we can see a different and outcome. This That's how good these two teams are. And you wouldn't believe how many times I've seen Joe Kai flying and triangle truck, people in the gym himself. Yeah. And the ironic is him getting put in one of these.